Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, oh, Sunday, almost time to go back to work tomorrow. Anyways, it's been a week and a half, two weeks since I got the Win Wing PTO2, which I have to say I am completely satisfied with. Anyways, I wanted to just go over real quick with this. I know that we did already do some of the you know, a look at the, the knobs and the switches and the emergency brake and the wings and all that stuff. So I just wanted to go into the game, take a look at it. I put up a map. It's basically a Nellis Air Force Base. I just threw an F-18 down, some weapons on it, and wanted to show what the select jettison button, all the things that this does, how they work. There's no lag in between it, the whole nine yards. Anyways, we're going to do this on my server, which is provided by Fox. 3 managed solutions it's a 16 person server i name it dfa training right now it's mostly just training maps and there stuff that i've been throwing together me and my buddy and we're just dog fighting and doing whatever but it's free to come on in and check it out and if you're interested in getting your own server i recommend highly that you visit fox 3 managed solutions luck runs it and i am sure that there is something there that'll work for you. There's nothing like having your own place to go. Anyways, let's get on with this. Okay, so a couple things that I did find. When I first set it up, the select jettison button that I have right here, the big red one in the middle, and it comes with all these five little push buttons on the side. I had set it up so it was, I'll show you, in the controls. And basically what needs to be done, it's, on, it's under, okay, it's all under here. So the knob itself is easy enough to set up. Everything is just right there in a the line. It says exactly what it says on here but what I had a problem with was I thought assigning station jettison select button center on off seeing that this is kind of a button on and off well that didn't work at all when you're in the plane what happens is you'd have to hold the button and come over here turn this press it just it'd be nice if this was a double click button but it doesn't so it powers on and then right off and then when you press it by the time you press it 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 just didn't work. So what you need to do is you have to go into station, jettison, select button, say if it's on the center, and just the on. Now it's going to leave the button in the F18. The button, you, you, you'll already have dropped everything that you need to drop, but the little button, it's still going to be lit up in the F18. You can turn it off with your mouse or you can just ignore it no big deal you have to do that with all of them you can't use the on off switch it didn't work for me unless there's another workaround you have to use the on we'll get to that when we get in the game and keep this as short as possible under access commands i don't know if you can see it it might be blocked yeah you can see part of it right over here a little bit of the camera's in the way. But this is all track IR settings. And I've been having a hell of a time getting things straightened out in track IR with making the curves. You know, you got them little dots you pull all over the place and whatnot. I was just like, okay, I got it halfway decent. But I ended up watching a video. I can't remember who made it. But they said that you can do, I don't even know if they were using track IR. I think it might have been a, one of the other eye tracking program or something like that. But anyways, come in here and I used every setting. There's like five or six settings here there's like a yaw an up and down a roll a right and left and i started playing around with putting curves and dead zones in it and it was just way way too much so i ended up backing everything off and what you do is you end up say we'll go down here to i end up going with just roll and pitch so you got track ir roll you click on it you go over to access tune. I didn't put a dead zone because it, even even a one, I could turn my head and tell that little pause and then it would catch up. So I left the dead zone. I put everything back to zero and I put a curvature of 20 on here. And what a difference in the smoothness that it made in my in my game. We'll, we will take a look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. So we're good. We're going to go into multiplayer. Okay, there's my server right there. DFA training. And it's a 60 person server I plan on starting to put my discord on and doing a few other things and hopefully I'll have a permanent server up there I've always got an outstanding ping I'm always in the 20s low 30s if you're looking for a good ping server to come and mess around let me know I'll just throw a map in there with a bunch of planes and you guys can go to town dogfighting I got no problem with that anyways this is the Nellis in Nevada let's jump in the plane and we're gonna go over these controls. Okay, so here we are in the gorgeous, lovely F-18. And as we can see, I look up, all the way up, no problem. Look down, down. 
Look over, no problem. Look how nice and smooth it is. Okay, so while we're in the plane, what we're gonna look at, yeah, I haven't done the light either. The first thing I questioned was the pack and brake. And it's pretty cool, it looks identical, but it doesn't exactly come out and turn all the way on the hardware like it does in the game. So if you watch, see what I do, you can turn it, let it go, turn it, it goes back, turn it, pull it out, and then it stays. And if you want it to go in, turn it again, so it doesn't have the full motion where it snaps like it does in the game, but the fuel probe, in it goes, up it goes, in it goes. <laughs> Strange looking doggy. Let's jump out of the plane, take a look at how everything works. Let's pull back a little bit. Okay, obviously we can take a look at our flaps. So we'll bring them all the way down. Half, full, back to half. Very, very, very cool. Okay. Hook. Back up. Another cool. Another coolness. Okay. Take a look at the wings. This is what I like to zoom in on. Right over here. You gotta press it. See the little little nipple pop up there on the wing? Flap comes up. That's a hold position. Fold. That would be a hold position, down. Always remember to lock these wings. I think it would end bad if you didn't. Push it in, lock, launch bar. Nice. Boing, boing. We got that. Colors look pretty good in the video. We got the lights. I don't think it even shows up in the daylight. Take a look at how the other stuff were. I'm still trying to remember, you know, I'm getting used to where to put my fingers, so, you know, bear with me. My afterburner's kicking on the way they should. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, it's just so quiet, just kind of weird. Pull it up, landing gear. Swing around the plane, hit the flaps button. Boom, it's an auto. As you can see with the MIP, everything works. I can brighten and that can be a little bit too bright sometimes. I can do the same thing with the contrast, the gain, you know, same thing over on the other side. You can see the uh, everything turns, the AP button, IFF, comes in handy. So basically you're going to turn over, say, and then the red button in the middle. There goes a weapon. Tank, slide, center. So we can see how that works. Same thing over on the right. I'm trying to memorize it all. All right, so let's take a look at how she lands. So we're a couple miles out from Nellis now. We're gonna put our gear down. We're at 282. Drop my gear. Ain't that sweet. I say 170 is a nice little speed to come coasting in. Needs a little more juice. 157 could have been a little softer, but this folks. 134, stop pumping the brakes. So that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very, very, very free to give me a sub and a like, and I really appreciate it. I've been getting a lot of them lately, and I'm very grateful because it helps the channel out. Without those subs, without those likes, it takes forever to get anywhere. So on that note, people, we'll be seeing you on the next video. Maybe I'll do something where I can start doing some combat stuff. But on the next video, for sure, we're going to be doing that wind wing versus verbal base and grip comparison. All right, people, we'll see you then. Enjoy. Peace.